that ball. Remember Pro Radio with your host, Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. And what? now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh... What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo Pro Radio. I am your host, Jen T. Twitter and Instagram at Jen T. Five, two, three. Man, whoo! <laughs> I am dead and bloated. Man, man, I am so bloated from this fucking Thanksgiving food. Holy shit. I don't know how I su- survived, but I fucking did. Whew. I will tell you all of the absolute, <laughs> complete sh- <laughs> shenanigans. Uh, but first, it's time for Customers of the Week. Well... You know, it's the holidays with a Z and people just be doing, people just be acting extra out of pocket during the holidays. I don't know what it's about, something about buying things and eating all this delicious food and spending time with your family turns people into absolute monsters. <laughs> wow, case in point, this lady was a complete bitch ass bitch. I uh had come up to assist with uh stacking some things at the front of the store and uh helping people uh you know, carry their groceries to their car because I'm a nice person. Because, you know, I like to do nice things for people. You know, it's the, it's the holidays. I'm nice. <laughs> Everyone else, not so much. <laughs> so I came up and I was getting ready to help this next customer because this other, this other lady was wrapping up. Okay. This see you next Tuesday had all, already had all her groceries and was just reading her receipt and holding up the line. So, um, I asked the lady behind her, I said, Hey, uh, did you need any help out before I had arrived up? I should, I should give you all the premise correctly. Before I had walked up, I had overheard a conversation with this lady, this see you next Tuesday. She was telling all of the cashier girls, I make a world famous pie and you know, I'm going to bring it in for you guys to try because you guys have been so delightful and helpful during this holiday time. I'm just going to bring you guys some pie. So as she's talking about her her delicious, world-famous pie, I see that she's done. You know, she's just standing there holding up the line. So I just asked the lady behind her, how would she like her order to be completed? How can I help you get out of her? So the lady with the pie goes, Yes, so I'm going to bring a slice of pie for each and every one of you, except you, not you. And I looked around and I was like, You, 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 this bitch talking to me? <laughs> yeah, not you. You, not you. And I was like, oh, thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck is this? I didn't ask for your fucking pie. Matter of fact, nobody asked for your fucking pie. They're just trying to be nice so you get the fuck out of the line, okay? If you want to be nice and bring people pie, cool. But now you are pointing to me and telling me not me. What the hell did I do? All I did was ask the lady if she needed help out. Not you. I'm, I'm not bringing pie for you. And I was just like, oh, okay. Thank you. Have a good night. I was just like, bruh. I, I didn't want you to think of fucking pie. Okay. Secondly, I just came up here to help. And now you're giving me shit for trying to help. What the hell is this? <laughs> so then... I just kind of looked at the lady some more. I was just like, what's her deal? And then everyone was like, whoa, what was that all about? Did she just say 
that she would bring pie for everyone, but not me. And I was like, yeah, crazy story. Martin Luther King had a dream. And then this bitch said, nope, (laughs) not you. (laughs) I was like, wow, but it got worse. She proceeded to walk out of the store but was not looking where she was watching and just kept staring at me. So she had her head turned around like she's the goddamn exorcist walking forward, but staring at me the whole time, eyes fixed on me the whole time. And I was like, whoa, 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 sweets. I mean, you know, I was into ladies, but <laughs> you need to back up. <laughs> I ain't into that. <laughs> you need to spin your head back around out the door. <laughs> she just kept staring at me and everyone's like, What's going on? I was like, I have never seen this bitch in my life. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But uh, if she wants to sign a release form, <laughs> I will gladly jujitsu the fuck out of this lady right now and then go home and then pick up her pie and throw it right down on the ground and then run it over with my Prius. Okay. <laughs> I have no fucking problem. She just kept staring at me. So then finally she turns around and and walks to her car which happened to be parked up front and as she was loading her groceries she kept staring at me some more and I was like "Mm, what is happening so then I was like looking at her like are are you all right bitch it does Wayne Brady need to choke a bitch right now what the fuck (laughs) oh my god so I was about to ask her is there a problem and I was like you know what don't even engage don't do not engage with this this garbage, this piece of garbage woman. Um, this see you next Tuesday in her world famous shite pie. <laughs> Jog off, you fucking prick. So she brings her cart back and puts it away and keeps staring at me. And I was like, oh my god, lady. Well, are you gonna fuck me or not? What is this? <laughs> is this some fucking <laughs> one touch shit? Like you, you want to fuck somebody you hate? Like what is this? What are we doing? And then it gets better. She gets in her car, and she gets in her little Subaru. So right then and there, I was like, "Oh shit, this lady a lesbian." Okay, straight up, this lady is a lesbian, and she is upset about something. I do not know what. Is it Donald Trump? Is it um, some sort of uh, abolish the patriarchy? I don't know what the fuck's going on. But she hopped in her, her Subaru. And kept staring at me, put the car in reverse, and I could see her staring at me the whole time. I was like, okay, I'm I'm not going to turn away because what if this bitch drives her Subaru right through the front door and runs me over? (laughs) I want to see it coming, fam, okay? I ain't turning my back to you, (laughs) Flair. She just kept staring at me the whole time, and then she peeled out of there and left. I was like, yo, damn, fam, yo. If you just want a bone, why didn't she just say so? I will politely decline because you'll see you next Tuesday. But, uh, you know, older ladies can get it. I, I, I do not discriminate. But damn, it wasn't even nice. It was like, not you. Not you. I was just like, whoa. Is it because I was a lesbian or is I as a black lesbian? What is it? <laughs> is this some white cunts joke us black cunts don't get? Because I ain't fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like legit like shook for a minute. I was like, girl, it ain't that serious. I'm pretty sure your pie doesn't taste as good as fucking Costco. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> I didn't say nothing about this bitch's pie. I just walked up and asked the lady if she needed help out to her car. Not you. Every one of you will get a piece of pie. Except you, not you. Okay, and so afterwards, all the cashier girls were like, Ew, we don't want your stupid pie, (laughs) ma'am. Yeah, we don't want your pie. If you're going to be a bitch, we don't want your pie. (laughs) It's fucking wild. I was just beside myself. So now I'm like, all right, well, I'm expecting some old lady in a Subaru to run my ass over any minute now. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> holy shit fucking wackadoos some current events some current events 
So, <laughs> Thanksgiving with the parentals uh, was uh, of uh, <laughs> no surprise. I mean, I was just, <laughs> as the turn of events occurred, I just, I just kept shaking my head. I said, yep, something bigger is going to come along. Yep, something funnier. Okay, here we go. So, two weeks ago. My cousin invited us, my you know, my parents and myself, to um, Thanksgiving dinner at their place in Orlando, up the 395, of course. About two, three weeks ago, my mom was like, oh, I don't know if I want to go. I haven't had my fourth or fifth booster shot. And I was like, okay, girl, well, well nobody's forcing you to go. And if you want a shot, I mean, they're calling me every day asking me when I'm coming to get some kind of fucking shot. <laughs> I'm sure if I give them their number, they'll be calling you in 20 minutes, lady. You can get 10 of them booster shots. <laughs> so she's like, mm, I don't know if I want to go. I don't know. So I was like, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go. And since their thing is at dinner time, I'll have Thanksgiving lunch with you guys. And then I'll go have dinner with them. And my mom goes, ah, 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 ah. you know, darling, uh, you know, darling, I haven't, I want to go, but I haven't had my fourth or fifth booster shot, you understand, darling. And you know, some of those family members of ours don't believe in, in COVID. They don't think it's real. And, you know, I'm just, I'm contemplating going. And I said, okay, mom, you know, that's cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and do dinner with you guys and you can stay home uh, or I'm going to go do dinner with uh, my cousin and I'll do lunch with you and dad. Darling, we don't do lunch. It's like two o'clock. And I was like, uh, you realize I eat lunch every day at two thirty at work. Okay. <laughs> two o'clock is lunchtime. <laughs> I was like, Mom, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it don't fucking matter. It's lunch with you and Dad, okay? So I'll do that, and then I will drive up to uh, our cousin's house by myself. You know, darling, I I, I, I really want to go, you know. Um, but um, your father, he he's not sure if he wants to go anywhere. And I was like... Oh, well, if we're waiting on that guy, <laughs> nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> Listen, Jenny, I do not want to go anywhere. I do not like people. I cannot stand loud crowds of people. I, it makes me crazy. I can't stand it, Jenny. I need to stay home immediately. Oh, oh my God. So I was like, well, uh, you and Dad can stay home, and then I'll just go. And she goes, hmm. Hmm. Well, darling, I'll think about it. I'll, you know what? I... Uh, I want to go. I will ask your father and see what he wants to do. So uh, a couple days later, so that was three weeks ago. So a couple days later, I talked to my mom. She goes, you know, darling, I'm going to go. And um, I'm just warning you ahead of time. I'm going to be masked up the entire time. I do not want to uh, get sick, you understand. I was like, yeah, fine. It's cool. Whatever. Do your thing. Don't care. Uh, I'm going to be having fun without a mask, eating my delicious food, chatting it up with my cousins, having a good laugh. You can do as you wish. Your father, I don't know if he's going to go or not, but, uh, you know, I want to go with you. So what we'll do is we'll have lunch and then we'll leave and go to your cousin's house. He's like, okay, yeah, sure. A couple days later. Jenny, I'm going to go with you to uh, see your cousins. We're going to we're all going to go together, okay? I'm like, oh, okay, perfect. I'll tell mom. Darling, we're going to go together, all of us. Um, but you will be driving to Adelanto, of course. And I was like, okay, that's fine. It was like every time she'd tell me, she was like trying to um throw a wrench. In the plan, she was like trying to be like, oh, yeah, well, how about this? You're not going to want to go up there after this. You're not going to want to go after I wear my mask the entire time. You're not going to want to go if your father comes. It was just like, yeah, no, I'm going. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, come with me. Yeah, okay. 
So um, a couple days later goes by. And my dad goes, oh, my God, Jenny, you're doing so much driving. Every weekend you are gone somewhere, somewhere far. This is not safe. The Prius is not safe. It is very old. I said, Dad, it made it to Vegas just fine. No problems. And it's going to the mechanic in, in next week. You know what, Jenny? You drive too much. I will drive us, okay? I will drive us to Atalanto. I was like, all right, player, well, this is what time I want to leave. <laughs> if we ain't doing lunch here, then we should leave at lunchtime. <laughs> so, <laughs> the night before Thanksgiving, okay, after this fucking piece of shit lady tell me I can't have no pie. Not you! Um... <laughs> My dad goes, you know what, Jenny? I think you should drive. And I was like, wait a minute. What? Whoa, 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 player. Hey, you just were scolding me two, three days ago about driving too much. And now you want me to drive up an hour and change up 395? What? I was like, fine, I'll drive. He's like, oh, are you sure, Jenny? Are you sure? I'm like, Brett, you're the one telling me I should drive, so I'm going to drive. After you just fucking scolded me two, three days ago about driving too much. But whatever, dude, I'll fucking do it. Let's go. You are not going to wiggle out of this trip. We are all going together. Or y'all can stay home. I don't care. I'm going to see my cousins. Thank you. So, <laughs> uh -huh. Thanksgiving Day comes. <laughs> I'm at the gym. I get a phone call. Jenny, uh, I've come to a decision that uh, I will drive because you are driving too much. I was like, fine. We're leaving in two hours. <laughs> so <laughs> I get in the car and <laughs> my dad is driving. And, you know, I have told y'all before, you understand, uh, this might be the only man in America to get a speeding ticket for going too slow. Too slow. So we are merging onto the freeway. And um, <laughs> oh my God! we're merging onto the freeway. And the speed limit, when you're heading towards Vegas on the uh, 215 North, the speed limit is like 70, I think it is. So... We're heading that way. We're on the 215 North. It says 70. We're getting on the freeway. My dad's going 45 miles per hour. And I was like, bro, dad, you got to step on it. And traffic is fucking moving because it's all these people that are going balls to the walls to get to Vegas in the next two and a half hours. Okay. <laughs> they are driving crazy. They're making their own lanes. They're zooming around. And here comes my dad in his fucking Sequoia. Jenny, uh, why is everyone driving so fast? And I was like, I don't know, Dad. It's Thanksgiving Day, and they're trying to get to where they need to go. And if they're on this freeway, that means they're probably heading to fucking Vegas. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> so we're getting on the freeway. And <laughs> the fucking Sequoia. And all these cars start slamming on the brakes. All of a sudden, hey. And I look out the back window. It's all these cars fucking swerving so they could not rear end my dad. Or they're trying to, like, get around my dad. And all of these cars, there must have been uh, Amazon semi-truck, a couple of little racer guys and some Hondas, and fucking Ford F-150. All honking at my dad. And he, <laughs> my dad, he rolls down the window and he, and waves at them. He goes, thank you for letting me in. I appreciate it, good sir. <laughs> I was like, no, man, they ain't letting you in, fam. They're telling you to move. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> oh, thank you, my good sir, for letting me in. He's like, Jenny, these people are so nice. I'm like, no, no dad, they're honking at you. You're going too slow. You need to step it up. You're at 45. This, you need to be doing at least 65, okay? Technically, 70, but 65 will do, okay? You got to pick it up, fam. He's like, okay, okay, don't rush me. I was like, oh, my God. I should have just fucking drove. I should have just fucking drove. So after everybody was done honking at my dad. 
And it wasn't just like for a moment. We went a legit. <laughs> we went a legit 10 miles with everybody going. Wah, 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 rah, rah. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. I was like, yo, you need to pick it up, dad. I'm the one in the back seat here. I'm going to get fucking wasted. I'm going to be fucking jam, okay? I'm going to be jam in the back seat here. <laughs> I'm going to be fucking tomato sauce. <laughs> if you don't step it up, man, we're going to get rear-ended and I'm the one back here, okay? I don't have enough buns to make an Amazon truck bounce back. <laughs> So I'm going to need you to step on the gas, player. <laughs> so uh, he finally picks up some speed, but we still stayed at 60. So everybody was just zooming around us. He's like, I don't understand why people are in such a hurry. Uh, you know, I am driving the appropriate speed. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm not even going to answer that. So I just ignored him, was busy just trying to text people, happy Thanksgiving, trying to stay calm because I thought I was going to fucking die. And um, so we get to the exit for 395. It's real fucking simple. It's the exit that says 395 on it. <laughs> and um, about a mile before we got there, he starts yelling, Jenny, 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 the, what is wrong with the GPS? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to your GPS. My GPS is fine. <laughs> He's like, I don't know where I'm going. I was like, dude, I said 395. 395. Just look for the exit that says Highway 395. That's where we need to go. He's like, well, what happens after I exit that? I said, you don't have to do anything. You just drive straight for an hour. Okay? This ain't hard. And I just went back to talking to my friends and just giggling in the back seat. And um, before I knew it, Highway 395 came up and he goes, Jenny, what do I do now? Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. And then my mom's like, darling, darling. <laughs> we, we missed the fucking exit. <laughs> oh, my God, Jenny, Jenny, what do I do? Jenny, the GPS is not working. And I was like, um, it said, beep, beep. Exit 395. <laughs> I was like, uh, the GPS works fine. It's user error. <laughs> so my dad's like, oh my God. Um, oh my God. We're never going to make it there. How do we, how do we get there? I don't know how to get there without on the freeway. I was like, dad, we're on the freeway. You needed to get highway 395. So what you can do is just take the next exit, which is, uh, Mojave. Okay. You can take Mojave. Hang a left and you'll hit 395. We're just going to hit like 20 different stoplights to get there, but we'll get there. So he goes, no, 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 Jenny, I'm going to turn around. And I was like, no, don't, don't do that. And he exits Mojave, makes a U-turn. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> and the thing goes, bing, bing, stay on Mojave. And then he was already looping onto the freeway. He's like, what do we do now, Jenny? I was like, oh my God, just listen to the fucking GPS. It's telling you what to do. And it said to stay on fucking Mojave. What are you doing? He's like, I'm going back to 395. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we drive back out of the way. I think it was like three, four miles uh, out of the way and then back. Two three ninety five, and so we exit three ninety five. He goes, Jenny, 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 what do we do? I was like, Dad, you can't do anything. Just go straight. You can't get lost going to cousin's house. It's just straight for an hour, and then you see the fucking house, and we're done. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, Oh my god! And so we pull off and. <laughs> if you've ever been on 395, it's just fucking bumper to bumper the entire way. So we're in bumper to bumper traffic, and he's like, Oh, I can't stand this. So many people. I am going to go crazy, Jenny. Help. What do I do? What do is what does my GPS do now? I said, like, Dad. It says right on their screen, 59 minutes to our destination. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So we had 59 fucking minutes of bumper to bumper traffic on 395. 
Thank God. Thank fucking Christ. I had Call of Duty Mobile. And I was deeply immersed inside of the duty playing. And uh, finally, we arrive at my cousin's house, which is a, a situation at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Before we got there, <laughs> we, we get just a couple of blocks away. And GPS goes, turn left, then turn right. And, and my dad goes, what do we do now? And I was like, listen to the fucking lady. And so he turns left and then turns right. And he goes, what do we do now? And I was like, just listen to the GPS. And he kept stopping in the street. Like, we'll come to a complete stop. And he's like, I'm, I, I need to know what I need to do next. And I was like, dad, you keep driving and GPS will tell you what you do next. And all these cars are like, wah, 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 wah. like, bro, fucking move it. <laughs> all these fucking angry people in the high desert. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Move it. <laughs> and my dad's just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's all this hunking. I was like, dad, oh, my God. So we finally make it to my cousin's house. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> my cousin's. So my cousin had five kids, five, six kids, and then though all those kids have at least two or three children. <laughs> so there was a lot of people at this house, and most of them were children. <laughs> um, it was immediately met with a little bit of peace and quiet for about 20 minutes, and then full on out. Screaming children, running around the house. My dad was just beside himself. He's like, oh my God, Jenny, I can't take it. And my cousin uh, put on the football game. And then all of a sudden, my dad perked up. He's like, let's go. I'm going to watch this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so um, uh, we we were gathered around in a situation. There was some something brewing. And um, my dad was ready to uh, start preaching the word of God. To maybe help alleviate the situation. And uh, my cousin came up. <laughs> oh, God bless my cousin. Um, my cousin came up and I saw her making drinks in the kitchen. But she was telling everyone it was soda. And it was not soda. That bitch put alcohol in the hair. <laughs> I saw her. I watched her fucking make drinks. And it was not soda. And so she was going around to the adults. She's like, oh, try the soda. Hey, have a soda. And then uh, my mom was like, mm, darling, why is this soda in a wine glass? I don't want it. And then she's like, no, thank you. So she comes up to me and my dad. She's like, have a soda. And I was like, oh, dad, you're going to love this soda. <laughs> <laughs> Unbeknownst to me father, that soda had booze in it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two glasses later, my dad was passed the fuck out. And he was snoring. <laughs> I was like, ooh, bitch, you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. My man was out for the count. Oh, man. Oh, God. I had such a great time. It's delicious food. I mean, one plate. We had three different types of macaroni. I mean, come on. Y'all don't do Thanksgiving like black people do Thanksgiving. Three different types of macaroni. Shit. <laughs> Whew, we were getting down. Fucking food was delicious. Oh, my God. So stuffed. Leftovers for fucking days. I mean, Wednesday, I did two training sessions. Friday, I did two training sessions. Saturday, I did two training sessions. I wanted to make sure these Thanksgiving leftovers weren't staying, okay? You cannot stay here. No vacancy, okay? I got enough buns for days in the back and a little uh, fanny pack in the front. I'm good, fam. I don't need any more. <laughs> oh, my God. It was just fucking wild. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't gain a pound. I'm so excited. It, it all paid off on my uh, restricted calorie eating during the week. Calorie deficit plus working out plus upping my consumption of fiber and protein led me to feast like a fucking champion. Oh, man. I love Thanksgiving. It's the greatest. Texas woman 
23-year-old Texas woman, has been arrested after she burned down her boyfriend's house. Why did she burn down her boyfriend's house? She suspected him of cheating when she saw him with another woman, and it turned out to be a relative. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, she burned down my man's house! <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, wait. Yes, I's been there. I have been one of these scorned women who was possessed and would, uh, you know, almost run my ex off the road within a car, if you will. <laughs> and so um, I can totally understand the 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 rage that can be inside. But, uh, you know, there's just other ways to take care of things. And one of them is not burning down your boyfriend's house. <laughs> Listen, if he cheating on you, he did you a favor. He don't want to be with you. Uh, let, let that shit go. Unless it really means something to you, you work on it. Otherwise, let that shit go. Find somebody else. Plenty of dudes out there. <laughs> Plenty of fucking dudes out there. Or maybe... You are on the pill, and you've stopped taking it, and you have become a lesbian. Because <laughs> that's what's going on in the news this week again. is Women are becoming lesbians after taking uh, the pill. Stop taking birth control. Uh, women are becoming lesbians. And I just want to say, God bless you, my child. The lady pond is open. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. But this totally kind of makes sense. I mean, this is kind of the reason I believe uh, Cousin Brucey became Auntie Caitlin because uh, old boy was on so many steroids that his estrogen levels were through the roof and he has became a lady. So that's my two cents on that. I am not a scientist. Um, but n neither are you. Not you! <laughs> Holy shit. Um, damn. This story is... <laughs> it's so fucking bizarre. Okay, so... Whew. 79-year-old man turns up in the ER after uh, thieves inserted a beer bottle up his anus. <laughs> Are these butt pirates? What the fuck is this shit, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Man claims robbers broke into him, his home only to discover that he didn't have anything of value. And when they couldn't find any valuables, they became angry and shoved a beer bottle up his butt. You gotta be fucking joking. Holy shit. Can you imagine? Yo, let's break into this old man's house. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's totally break into his house. What? You don't have anything valuable in here. Oh, no. Man, I'm pissed off. I'm going to put this beer bottle up your butt. <laughs> That'll show you. Next time we come back, you'll have some valuables for us to steal. Yeah. <laughs> Time in the air. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I ain't buying this story at all. Fam, listen. You got a little horned up and uh, you were alone and uh, you decided to uh, take a seat on a beer bottle for pleasure. <laughs> I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! No, sir! No! <laughs> there is no fucking way. I just, I can't even believe this. Why would the robbers take the time to put a beer bottle up? Uh, uh, why would the robbers take the time to put a beer bottle up your ass? 
They don't have time, fam. They're trying to break into your shit and get out because the cops are coming. They know you're going to call the cops or the neighbor's going to call the cops, right? Why would they take the time and be like, oh, yeah, spread them. <laughs> we got to make sure this beer bottle fits in there to teach this guy a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Complete and utter bullshit. Oh, my God. I, I need the real story, sir. Tell us the real story. <laughs> um. Okay. That's going to do it for me. But before I leave, here are some motherfucking UFC picks. I've got Isela Nunez, uh, Marcelo Rojo, Nathan Levy, Tracy Cortez, Jonathan Pierce, Mark Diakese, Scott Holtzman, Angela Hill, Nico Price, Kyle Dukakas, Roman Dolazzi, Ty Chivivosa, Matthias Nicolo, Brian Barbarena, and Kevin Holland. Those are my motherfucking UFC picks. Bet with me, bet against me. Who cares? Let's watch some fucking fights. Yeah. All right, folks. That is going to do it for me. I will talk to y'all next week. But until next time, this is Rambo Radio. I'm out. Peace. Fuck, bitch, bye. Fuck. Yeah, I got kids on set. What, what about the fucking meat? We don't get food stamps. What the fuck? Put the meat on sale. Check out fucking canned beans. Like we eat motherfucking Kanye beans and shit. Put the meat on sale. Fuck, bitch, bye. Now I say it again. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, bitch, bye. Fuck, bitch, bye. Fuck, bitch, bye. Fuck, bitch, bye. Fuck, bitch, Put me on sale. 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 Put Put the meat on sale. Check out fucking canned beans. Like eat motherfucking Kanye beans and shit. Put the meat on sale. Fuck Best Buy. Now I say it again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck Best Buy.